the challenge to get things like out and as early as often because based, based on the new release train of, of Java. Um, in particular with Java 9, it was a really compelling thing because there are different releases in very early stages. We have uh, introduced many, many features. Most of the things had Robert done but based on the module system, things like that. And uh, we had uh, updated several plugins because there had some issues related to the module system, uh, things like that, and in particular things like um, issues with different dependencies which we are using, uh, which are don't work on uh, Java 9 or something, and Java 10 as well, and things like that. And we have rele made releases in different areas for um, newer plugin versions, which are related to the module system um, and improving things to handling that more in a more convenient way for the user to make it more more convenient to users to handle things like that and to use a module system in a Java project today that you don't have to change many things and to don't have to make uh, large configurations and make it easy to configure things like that. Okay, so uh, so you t you're talking about uh, modules, but yeah. uh, so that was really like the new thing for Java 9. Yes. So how is it going now? Because uh, now that um, that the it's the the features in each releases are actually um, um, smaller uh, f features. Yeah, that was a good thing for us, to be honest. Yes. Right. Um, the most important part was Java 9 because of the module system. That's a huge change, mm -hmm. not only for us, for others as well. But the other changes can be very, sim very simple handled by using CI integration tools like Jenkins we have at the Apache Software Foundation, which we use on a regular base and running all of our, our builds with different Java versions, JDK 9, 10, 11, and the 12 EA releases at the moment also to check if there is something which is breaking something. So we are early informed about something which is yeah. breaking or missing, some deep APIs which have been removed or something. And then we are, can change that and make a new release before the final release usually is out of Java, for example. So especially the module system was uh, had a huge impact. And from that on, uh, these features are not really related to Maven itself anymore. They're just right. improvements of the language. I see. Uh, so especially yeah. we've done a lot of work on the, on the module yeah. parts. Uh, OK. So. So in your presentation, you have a presentation of how uh, the new release train is affecting yes. the Maven project. So yes. um, what are some of the things that you talk about? In well, this, uh, uh, the, in, in general, it's quite easy to, to operate, uh, assuming that every, everything uh, builds fine. Um, so if you are working on the module path, uh, those issues are already solved. So they are kind of forward compatible already. So we know that it works with Java 12 and it will very likely wor work with 13, 14 as well. Uh, the only thing uh, we uh, do need to release every six months uh, are uh, class analyze uh, based. So if we really need to dive into bytecode of classes, mm -hmm. uh, those plugins need to be updated. And those are, I think, about five, I guess. Four, four or five. Or five. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the, the number of plugins that are really affected by this new release train is quite small for us. OK, cool. Yeah. Cool. And, and so are you also involved with like uh, an analyzing like dependencies for, uh, do you have, um, so is it a plugin or is? Yes. Is it the tools so that, uh, there that you are, recommend people to use? Um, so one of the things is the Maven dependency analyze. Of the Maven dependency plugin has an analyze okay. goal, uh, which can tell you which uh, dependencies uh, you should add to your POM file or which aren't used, so you can remove them. But this one needs to look inside the class files to really understand which classes are used. And that's the one which needs to be updated every time. I see. Yeah. OK. So, um, uh, so the you also have you part also of the hacker garden, right? So yes. what is uh, talk to us about like okay. what is that initiative? Uh, so this this uh, this story starts uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. We were at uh, I was at J Creek. You weren't there, so I enjoyed the sun and the beach and everything. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it was also about a lot about Java, and uh, we we discovered that not everybody was familiar with uh, how uh, to contribute to uh, the open source uh, world. Uh, so what we did is on the final day, uh, we did uh, a hackathon over there and we worked on one of the plugins, which is called the JXR, the Java Cross References uh, plugin. Uh, and we got a lot of improvement there already during uh, JCreate. And 
inspired on that, we decided to do uh, the same here at DevOx. Okay. So we will both uh, be here uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, when we are not in, uh, in sessions, then we will try to be here. And if people have questions about this, uh, they can ask us and we can help improve plugins. So, okay, yeah. great. Just a supplemental to that, I will do um, on a conference in Javaland on March mm -hmm. next year. We do something like that in, in Germany in this right. case and do more or less the same and want to people to encourage to um, contribute to open source somehow and I will show the process how it, do, what it does and how it works and how yeah. easy it is to, to, to help the, the project. And also I have some uh, information for the Java user group in Aachen in 9th of Janu January, if, if I correctly remember, that we will do some supplemental information what the roadmap is and so on and see how people react on that. If we get some con contributions, would be great. And yeah. some questions is very important for us to get back the information from the, con uh, from the community, what is going wrong, maybe mm -hmm. could be better and things like that. So, and uh, what about online? So how can they find out uh, more about uh, how to contribute uh, to those plugins online? Um, yeah, we have some pages. There is a contribution page uh, for starting work. work. Uh, I have to admit that it's not perfect. It could be improved, of course. Yeah. But if someone is trying to improve and see, see, okay, oh, that's wrong or something, I don't understand, then please make an update or contact us via the mailing list. Then we can improve that and help others, not also the, himself or herself. In this case, it doesn't matter. We, we would like to improve this. And that's uh, most important things that we increase that over, over the time, increase the steps, make it better, make it easier to, um, to um, contribute to the project and that's most important for us because we are only a small group which are working on that. Right. And you covered that also in your session today which is probably recorded, right? It was yesterday. But oh, yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. yes, we mentioned that. Uh, so there is this link we have, it's uh, s.apache.org uh, slash uh, up for grabs underscore maven. Uh, you can find it uh, there and there's a small list of Jira issues from which we say these are kind of simple to, to fix and will it will help us because we, we, we can do it of course but it would uh, motivate other people to also uh, help us uh, on this part and to improve altogether uh, Maven. Excellent. So this should be kind of simple like we said up for grabs uh, issues, small Java puzzles I would say. And they can always contribute to the documentation uh, like course. you offered and so the in the process <laughs> and so forth. So yes. great. Well thank you so much for thank talking you for to us. Thank you for having us here.